Hi there. We're in Sanctuary of In-Death Unchained. This is the lobby for the game. You come back here once you've completed all the levels or once you die, which is going to happen quite a bit, especially if you're new to it. Um, if you are new to VR, this is a game that benefits from being able to move around, I think, or even sitting in a chair, a swivel-type chair that you can spin around in very quickly. Being able to move is one of the big advantages of this game. It's, you're not tied to key. You can spin yourself around with a snap turn. Um, it is not nearly as responsive, at least I don't believe so. Announcement board for Season 2 and other announcements will show up right here. Anytime there's something, something there, Season 2 just started a few days ago. I like it quite a bit. In the center, the entrance to the main game, you can see my progress is at zero because I've started a new profile and I have zero out of 121 achievements. Here's the board that they've introduced with season two. Um, it will indicate your level overall, any badges you've acquired, things like this nice fancy bow that you can equip yourself with. They've got some rewards in there that don't cost anything other than uh, achievements or leveling up. All the way on the right is the tutorial. Please do the tutorial before you try to play the game. Uh, you need to get good at drawing your bow or shooting the transport arrow um, between the two and also throwing up your shield. Those are things that will come in quite handy during the game. Uh, I'm not going to dwell on those too much. We're just going to get rolling. Right here, uh, the global leaderboard, you can see we are where you rank as far as all the other players on the leaderboard. Um, this is with season two, not the previous seasons. You can go back and look at that. With Once you've unlocked some accomplishments, the first level, pretty much the first time, once uh, you can get a crossbow. I personally like the bow much better, probably because I can boast you a little bit, but uh, I just I like it better than the crossbow, even though the crossbow is sort of like having a machine gun if you're really good with it. Directly in front of us is the entrance to Purgatory. That's the first level. It's comprised of three sections, then the boss fight at the end. Stand forward here. Paradise Lost, that is the second level. It also has, it has two sections and then the boss fight at the end. And it will unlock once you've beaten the first level six times, once you've gotten through the boss six times. Over here on the left, entrance to the abyss, you can see it unlocks once you have 48 achievements. Now, I'm going to run through this at speed once I start the game. Uh, I'll try to talk as I do it. I might get a little, little busy, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, you'll pick up some tips or get some ideas out of this walkthrough. All right. The right here is Purgatory. We started. If you look at the architecture, it will change every time you come in. You're not guaranteed to see the same thing over and over, and it will put different elements together. They are familiar over time, but they will put them put them together in different ways. And as you get better, that's what I really love about this game. As you get better, this game gets harder. You have more opponents. Uh, you get unlocks for better weapons, but they also unlock harder uh, opponents to beat. Wherever you hit with a transport arrow is where you can go. For instance, I right there, I'm standing on there. It won't let you stand in. It used to, oh, well, I take it back. Sometimes it will. There are places it won't let you stand, but sometimes you can stand up anywhere. And when I first started playing the game, I did a lot of sniping from places where it was almost impossible to get me because I was just no good at it. In front of us, we have a knight. There's a monk who I just shot at. I'm going to run around here a little bit. So, so. Notice they've taken a little bit of damage. You can run around. I generally just go straight at them. There's a shield block there and shoot them. Now, you've noticed from the fight, my life is kept on my bow or are your crossbow. Right now, I've taken a hit from an arrow and one of those guys got me as well, so I'm down to four 
lives. And once you're in life, you're dead. Game's over. There are ways to pick up heels. That's called Blood of the Lamb. And hopefully we will get some of those in just a minute. Blood of the Lamb, whenever there's that or a special arrow, you just reach out your hand, pull your trigger field, and it will come to you. Notice I filled in one of my blocks, so I got a little bit better. Also, while we're looking at it on the hand, these are accomplishments at the top that you've started, and you may not have completed them because they're not in color. They also have your, your current score and how much gold you have. Now, you do not have to run through these in any order. You can teleport to the end. You can bypass everybody directly if you want. You can go right at them. Right now, I'm kind of just taking my time. I don't want to give you, hopefully you're not getting any vertigo from this, but you might be. I suffered a little bit when I started playing. Oops. Now, the monks are able to teleport. So they can, uh, if, you, if you disturb them and you decide, oh, there's too many of them are going to run away, um, they will come chase you. For instance, I'm going to do away with this guy. I'm going to run back here. And he will either run out or he will port to come get me. And they will show up behind you. So we have cleared out the first section, and just to show you, you can go up on the rooftops, you can snipe down um, in later sections of the game. Uh, that's pretty much what I do quite a bit, especially Paradise Lost. This is a reliquary or armory. You can go in there and buy items. I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, after because right now I don't have enough gold to buy anything if I need it, but I'm hopefully I will get get some help after killing a few few folks. Now, if you listen during the game, you heard the saw, sword draw. That means there's a knight close enough to respond, and they will come after you. So there are a lot of audible clues in this game, and it pays to listen. If, you, or if you're hearing impaired, I've got a buddy of mine that, a little bit of that, if you get, a, get, get some headphones, it's quite, it will make a big difference because then you can put it in, crank up the volume, and deal with it, that. Ooh. Here's a case of I've bitten off too much I can chew directly. I'm going to fall back so that they have to come after me a little bit. And I can take them on in my own pace. If you heard, there was one that teleported. Oops, I just had one coming right behind me. This is working out pretty good. Sometimes they uh, straight forward. probably heard that click that means I have 
unlock some achievements. You see they're in full color. We will look at those after. And then this is a special arrow, same thing. You reach out with your hand, you pull your trigger finger, it comes to you. To start with, you have two additional bow slots. You just put it in one of the slots, and now you can use it. Special arrow, you pull back, you press your A button on your bow hand, and you let it loose. This one causes them to freeze, and they take damage. I'm gonna let it sit, yeah, so you see he quit taking damage there. Blood of the Lamb came up. But. All right, we're going to press ahead. So resource management, like anything, is a little bit important. I just heard somebody else. Hi there. That would be the second section cleared out. We're going to move on to the third with a stop at the reliquary. In the meantime, to see if I can get something to help me get through the boss which won't happen, but uh, not that I don't think I have the skills. So this is also where you save during the game. So if you save here, you're able to come back and you can restart here, pick up here, or you can just restart over. Um, you cannot start in the middle of any place else. Wildfire, that's the one I want right there. Notice it opens up when you have enough gold. I have 3,800. Same thing, reach out with your hand, put it and put it in your arrow slot. 